Hello, this is Greg Kamkowski from ST Microelectronics here with you. Welcome to the virtual booth for the digital power control with STM32. There are three key messages I'd like to cover with you. First, the new STM32 G4 series MCUs that are ideally shaped for power conversion applications. Second, the Bericha design tools that are now free for the STM32. And third, the hands-on training workshops offered for digital power supply and power factor correction applications. First, let's look at where the new G4 series fits inside of the STM32 portfolio. The STM32 family is bringing a wide range of MCUs all based on ARM Cortex cores for microcontroller and processor embedded applications covering the full spectrum from ultra low power to high performance. The new G4 series complements and builds on the existing F3 series for mixed signal applications including digital power conversion. Now let's take a closer look at the key features found in the STM32 G4 series. First is the performance. More than doubling the F3 performance, the G4 is built with a 170 MHz ARM Cortex M4 core and is able to deliver 213 DMIPS and 550 core mark. The G4 includes the Art Accelerator Dynamic Cache to bring near zero weight state performance from flash, the CCM SRAM booster for optimizing the most critical control loop code, as well as two new math accelerators the Cortic for trig functions and the FMAC for filtering functions. The FMAC is a filter math accelerator that can be used to implement FIR and IIR filters and is ideal to use for the 3-pole 3-0 compensator found in a digital power application and can typically execute 5-6 to six times faster than using the CPU. The G4 is also delivering a rich set of integrated analog peripherals including multiple 4 mega samples per second analog to digital converters, programmable gain op amps, digital to analog converters, and fast 17 picosecond comparators. Highlights of the digital peripherals include an advanced motor control timers with improvements such as asymmetrical dead time and hardware dithering, flexible data rate FD CAN, USB Type-C power delivery, and an improved high resolution timer. The high resolution timer is commonly used in digital power applications and this improved HR timer can now operate with 184 picosecond resolution as an additional timer block for 12 channels of output supporting a triple interleaved LLC topology and other added features such as valley skipping and slope compensation. As safety and security requirements are increasing in today's applications, the G4 also delivers bringing flash memory error correction code, variants with dual bank flash, a securable flash memory area, and optional hardware crypto accelerator, the G4 is able to implement secure boot and secure firmware updates. For safety critical applications, the G4 includes SRAM hardware parity, a SILT certified self-test library, and a Class B library. Looking inside the STM32 G474 block diagram, we can see that the Cortex-M4 core is complemented by a floating point unit, memory protection unit, and ETM trays. The FPU is great for using with advanced algorithm development tools that generate floating point code in order to avoid the complexities of converting it to fixed point code. Up to 96k bytes of SRAM are available coupled with the 32k bytes of CCM SRAM routine booster area to provide a total of 128k bytes of SRAM. For getting started with the digital power conversion applications, the G4 Discovery Board includes a buck boost, switch mode power supply, and RGB LED circuit to exercise the high resolution timer and analog peripherals. In addition to the full STM32 Cube ecosystem and motor control SDK, ST has partnered with Bericha Digital who specialize in design of analog and digital power supplies as well as provide world-class training courses to provide a special release of their design tools that are free for use with the STM32. This includes the STWDS for digital switch mode power supply design and the STPLD for digital power factor correction designs. The STWDS design tool allows engineers to quickly stabilize their digital power supply controller. After selecting the topology and input output specifications, the tool will generate the compensator poles, zeros, and controller coefficients. 
The STPLD design tool, likewise, allows for stabilizing a digital PFC controller. After entering the specifications, the tool automatically generates the compensator poles and zeros and calculates the controller coefficients. Getting started is easy using the STM32 G474 Digital Power Discovery Kit. As noted previously, this board features a buck boost power supply circuit and a getting started guide for using it with the breach of WDS is coming soon. ST and Bericha Digital have also partnered to offer hands-on workshops. The workshop is for designers and embedded system engineers who need to build high-performance, stable digital power supplies and digital PFCs. The workshops provide theory and practical hands-on exercises over four days and take you from starting a design from scratch through designing stable digital control loops for both voltage and current mode DC to DCs and PFC applications. Workshop participants will get a chance to design, code, implement, and test several digital power supplies. See the ST Micro Electronics and Bericha websites for the next classes coming near you. Here is a look at the training kits used in the workshops. They are based on a G4 Nucleo board for control stacked with custom expansion boards. The PSU kit is shown on the left and includes an expansion board with a buck boost converter. The PFC kit is shown on the right and the expansion board supports a single phase CCM boost PFC or a dual phase interleaved CCM boost PFC. Both kits include resistor switch banks to provide for load variations and for performing step transient tests. Well that's all the time we have for now, but you can find more information on ST.com and through your favorite social media platforms. Well thanks for listening in and have a great day.